So today we're going to talk about one of the games in which we had a sweaty lobby. So this is a 1.39 average KD lobby. What that means is, as you can see here, so I'm at a 2.13 KD, right? I'm only the third best player in this lobby. Um, the first being a 3.30 KD player, along with my teammate is at a 1.58, and he's only the ninth best player in this lobby. So when we're looking at lobby strength, this is a very strong lobby. I mean, there's only one team, I think, here that's actually under a 1 KD, and it's a team that died in fifth place. Okay, so in this gameplay, we're just going to talk about how it is a sweaty lobby and how you play in these type of lobbies, because it's not the same. Here, I'm going to hip fire him, and this is just so I can track him, right? Because I'm not going to be able to track him, ADS. He's moving too fast. He's full sprinting at that point. So I'm just going to hip fire him. And that's how you deal with higher skilled players that just would typically be able to break your camera and stuff. You're just going to hip fire them. Take away their movement and just simply hip fire and track them. It's much harder for someone to break your camera when you're hip firing, right? Because your your sense is higher, right? When you have an ADS sense multiplayer like I do, it not only opens up your field of view so you can see more, which is going to be more important for, for guys that are on console, right? Because you already have less field of view. You don't have affected field of view like I do on PC. So opening up that field of view to hip fire is going to, A, allow you to have more field of view. So right, you're at 80 instead of 60 for my guys that are on Xbox. And then more importantly, their movement just doesn't, it, it's not going to move as fast, right? Because you're able to, your sensitivity is much faster and you're going to be able to track them easier. Now I get this ping right here. So I get this ping, right? Because this guy placed down, placed down a cl cluster strike. So I'm going to get this ping and, and watch how fast I'm, I'm going to react to the fact that this guy places a cluster strike, right? He places a cluster strike, right? Right there. I see it. I check the minimap immediately. And now I'm just going to push him. I'm going to catch this guy completely off guard because he's not expecting me to push like that. I let it get stuck. So the solution to this is just shooting it off there, which my teammate figures out pretty quick. And now we got it. Okay, so first of all, obviously these Raider Jammers are really annoying because I now have no information. Even with having a UAV, I have no ability to pick out where people are. So I'm just kind of clearing at this point, trying to figure out where these guys are. Because I know there's guys here from those pings earlier, right? I'm going to center around the staircase. I'm just trying to clear these corners the best I can because I don't have any information on where anybody's at at this point in the game. Then my teammate goes down. My second teammate's going to go down here in a second, too. And so now I know where they are, so I'm going to go ahead and push up and see what I can see. I catch this guy in the, the, the window over here. Start shooting at him. I'm going to try to wallbang him here, but I can't. So I'm going to keep pushing, though, because at this point, this guy should be plating. Now, this is a demon play, right? So this guy decides to ego chow on one plate. Just, I didn't have any audio on him. It kind of sucks. Um, probably should have been paying more attention to that corner, right? Should have been looking back and looking for when he comes. But, I mean, he caught me off guard there. And now I'm going to get way too aggressive here. I'm going to try to come up and grab this gun. And the solution to this, right, is like, look where my teammate's at. My teammate's right here. So he's up on this railing system. I probably could have gotten this res off on my teammate and let my teammate cover fire for me while I go and find a weapon, right? Instead, I make an aggressive play, and I want to go get a weapon so I can I can fight. Oh, it's just kind of a testament to how this lobby is. If, if this was a lower KD lobby, I probably wouldn't have gotten pushed there, and I probably wouldn't have been punished for that. Now we're getting shot, and so we're getting shot from this tower that's up here, over here to our right, right? And that's going to come important for later. But right now, we know there's people here, so we're just going to kind of clear. 
check out and see what's going on because we know the team should still be in this area but we don't know quite where I'm going to catch this guy. Now watch. So so I catch this guy, right? I catch him just for like a frame of a second here. I'm looking, I'm looking, and I catch him for a second. And now I'm just going to ego chow him. Obviously, he's not expecting that play, and I'm able to execute and and keep myself from getting out. That's pretty much my only choice there, because otherwise I get pushed, and then I immediately die. He said you're holding hands. Gonna... Now, I make a mistake, though, right? So I kill this guy. I have a minimap ping. And you can't quite see it because of the quality of the video. This minimap ping is showing that there's a guy directly below where I'm at. I miss it. I don't ever look up a minimap on that and uh, save that information. And he's going to catch me right here. And so I'm trying to I'm trying to play the best cover I can, but I'm kind of caught in a bad situation, right? And then I make another mistake. So I, I time my stim wrong here, right? So this guy's full pushing me. And... He's able to catch me because I don't go behind that cover fully. And then I don't stim anywhere with cover, so he's able to just turn around and keep hip firing me. It's just kind of an unfortunate situation. Had I played with cover, had I played and timed my stim a little bit better, I would have survived that fight. This next test, I'm going to spend a lot of time looting and trying to like just get back up. Yep, and I'm going to get punished for it. This guy ends up stimming up, um, I'm assuming from where he knew his teammates just died. I get caught in a bad situation because I spend too much time there just trying to loot and try to get my guns back instead of getting my SMG and then checking to figure out where the, the next person is. So we're going to land back on my guns again here. This time though I'm going to take a, a, a route that's directly in route with my teammates so I know that it's safe, right? I know that this area at this point is cleared and I don't have to worry about somebody coming up on us immediately and then my teammates calm and my teammates calm that somebody's here and so I'm, I'm starting to look to see where they're at and these guys are playing a nasty heady honestly when someone's camping a tower like this they're just kind of intermittently immediately peeking right like so there's nowhere that i'm going to get a good heady on them to to hit a snipe so i'm just going to let them let them do their thing and also keep in the back of my head that they're there so i'm not overexposing myself to them Now, I'm about to get shot in the back, right? I get shot in the back. Typically, I would want to just push back in here, but instead, I'm just going to kind of shoulder peek this door and try to figure out where he's at, right? Now, I want to make the next crucial play here is I'm waiting for my teammate to come up. I'm, we're going to stack this guy. I'm going to wait for my teammate to come up, and as soon as my teammate's coming up, now we can push him, and we're going to catch this guy off guard. And even even if this guy is able to kill me with whatever he threw at me, right? That thermite, that throwing knife, whatever. If he's able to get that kill, it doesn't matter because my teammate's right here and he's going to clean that up for me. Yeah, it was a thermite. And again, we're just going back to clearing buildings. We've been in this area a while and we know that there's still people here, right? So we're just going to keep clearing and trying to figure out where these guys are. You know, wherever they're hiding, wherever, whatever corner they're, they're in, and or wherever they're at now here i have fifteen hundred dollars that is just enough to make enough money for a plate plate buy i probably should have gone and bought plates and that would have put me in a better situation for the next three or four fights that i'm in because i'm struggling for plates at this point i don't have any plates my teammates are low on plates and so instead I, i'm trying to like challenge this this dude up on the top instead of just going to get plates and playing now my teammate dies here, so I'm kind of like looking around to see where he's at. I get lasered, right? And now I'm just running for cover, trying to find somewhere that I can play and find plates at this point. Dude, I'm so lost. Being very careful to clear corners because I don't know this building well enough to, to anticipate people, right? So I'm just kind of anticipating where people may be. This next clip, if you think you can't quick scope with an HDR, you can quick scope with an HDR. Watch. I'm gonna hit him with a shot, and then I'm gonna go down and push because he's low health. Realistically, probably shouldn't have pushed this. Um, obviously, I get the kill. I'm not gonna get punished for it. But in all reality, I don't have plates, and it's very likely that his teammates are nearby, right? And you're actually gonna see this, right? So 
I get a ping that his teammate is right on my level, and now I've got to go run away from his teammate who instantly fries me. And if this guy has plates here, I'm dead. I'm going to prone, though, right? So I'm proned here. I'm catching this guy off guard. He's not expecting me to be here. He is now because he's been, been able to adjust his centering. But now I'm able to just execute, and I've caught him off guard at this point. Then this guy catches me off guard. Now, this is a, a technique that I learned from Cup of Joe, um, one of my favorite streamers, right? It's called the Cod Your Step, right? So I'm going to stim, push right out to him, push to his right. So now he's got to readjust his aim to the right, right? And then I'm going to go left. And, I mean, the guy just has no clue where I'm at or how to track me. And again, we're just trying to figure out where people are. And then this guy decides to position us. And again, another really aggressive play. I'm jumping down on top of him. Um, but I'm able to get the knock. Go down and get my finish. Try to see where his teammates are. They're nowhere here, near, so I'm just going to go ahead and plate up and try to get back into the action. Now, I, I think that this guy's flying him with the pistol, right? But it's just, the Rebirth is disabled at this point. So I probably should have recognized that this guy is going to have an SMG, and I almost die because of it. So, luckily, I have the better SMG, and he must have missed a shot or two. But that could have been very bad. Then I, then I catch this guy. My teammate's actually able to give me a live ping. So I'm going to be able to track him, and then just come up right behind him. Now, let's talk about checking your corners. I did not at all check the corner behind the door and it's a little bit of map knowledge right because i don't know that someone can be behind that door but i'm gonna get fried because i don't check that corner now i'm gonna play my cover though right so i'm gonna play this heady and hip fire and then jump through and just make him miss shots now we're gonna wait and Yep, my teammate's going to die, so now I'm going to push this guy aggressively. Able to execute and get the kill. And that's just execution there. That's just, I know where he's at, now I'm going to go execute and kill him. Again, I'm, I'm just looking here for what I can find, how where are enemies at, right? I'm to clear these corners, catch this guy, go ahead and execute on him, and then I get lasered by this guy behind him, right? So this, this team was stacking on me, right? He comes up literally right behind his teammate. I'm playing this cover so I can stim and, and do another Euro step on him. And just able to absolutely break his camera. And that's all in just using a player's aggressiveness against them, right? Those guys put themselves in a bad situation by pushing up aggressively on me, and that allows me to break their camera and get easy kills on them. I shouldn't say easy. They did fry me quite a bit, but... Use doors to your advantage, right? I hit that guy with a door. He now doesn't know where I am, and I'm still able to track him. Now, unfortunately, he pushes back and catches me in that glitch where people can see you you're in front but they, they see you as behind whatever and so i almost get fried luckily my teammates there and gets that clean up i'm gonna push down to safety where i can plate up my teammate's gonna go down here in a second yep now i'm able to push push up and try to execute to this guy right i'm just looking for him kind of clearing i see him under the table so i'm gonna hit a few shots he's pretty weak at this point so i'm just trying to hit like that one yep that one shot now I'm in a 1v2 scenario, or 2v2 scenario right now, 2v1, right? Still have one teammate up, but we're going to just kind of search for this, these two last guys. And I'm going to go for a, a teammate buyback here real quick, so we're going to skip ahead a little bit. So what I end up doing is I end up taking this redeploy balloon and getting a far side of cover, so that way I can kind of try to figure out where these guys are. 
the enemy bought back, right? So now I'm in a 2v3 situation. Trying to get a pick out of the sky, but realistically with the HR, you're not going to get a pick out of the sky because of spawn protection unless he's like super close to the ground. We're joking right now because this was first night and we were all in sweaty lobbies. And so technically at this time, this was my PR for this map. We're just going to execute on this guy. My teammate does end up stealing the kill. And that's kind of the downside of playing with good teammates, right? Is that your kills will get stolen when you when you get close. Now here, I'm exposing myself a lot to this guy. And you're going to see I'm, I'm getting lasered from him, right? This guy knows where we are. And I completely just open, open my exposure right up to him. So he's able to fully see me and I'm trying to run away. Which makes me take damage. And ends up in my teammate dying because he gets pushed. Now we're in a 1v1, and so I'm going to continue to push back to circle and just try to get positioning on this guy. Because I know where he's at at this point, I just need to, to get a good angle on him. Looking through the window, I'm going to see him, and sadly I'm going to whiff this shot. But now he's going to push back into cover. Now, if you're noticing, he's running this way, right? So there's only one actual viable angle he can peek me from or come from, unless he goes back, and that's this right here. So I'm just going to center on this heady and wait for him. He ends up coming through. Shoot him. And here's something to be careful of, right? So you're going to see, I'm going to let this guy self-res because he's going to be low health when he self-res. Res is, right? We're going for the win here, and I just need to be able to, to get this one shot off. If I push that self-res, I either end up losing him, one, or two, he might be able to throwing knife me and, and get a free kill and be able to clutch up the game. We're not going to take that chance. We're going to let that guy just full book it for a circle while I take an easy shot on him. And yeah, that's how you play in a high KD lobby or a lobby that is around your skill level, right? This is a 1.39 KD lobby. This is right on par with the amount of players that I'm going to be playing with, right? So playing with two KD players, I'm playing with 1.5 KD players, 1.6, 1.8, all players that understand and can execute even in a map that they don't know. So we are having to play a little bit smarter and our mistakes are going to get punished a lot in these kind of lobbies, right? So yeah, if you like this kind of content, you want to see more of it, hit the like button, hit the noti bell, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.